Very good evening students. In today's class, we will be doing alcohols and their nomenclature. An alcohol is written as ROH, where R refers to an alkyl group. What exactly is an alkyl group? CN, H2N plus 1 is the general formula for an alkyl group. The other way of understanding the same thing could be that you take an alkane, remove an H from it and add OH in its place, you end up in an alcohol. Let me give you an example of a simplest alkane that we have is methane. The formula for methane is CH4. The structure of methane is carbon having four hydrogens around it. Now, to transform it into an alcohol, you need to remove any one H and you need to add an OH. Hence, the conclusion is you make it into a CH3 with an OH. Hence, it transforms into an alcohol. Similarly, if you have a ethane, which is C2, H6. Drawing its structure, you have CH3 and a CH3. I remove an H and I add an OH. The conclusion would be the first carbon, the second carbon, any one of the second carbon I have removed the H and added an OH. Both of these are known as alcohols. Coming to the nomenclature of the alcohols, the IUPAC nomenclature says in case of an alcohol ROH you take the R group count its carbons in the longest chain but the carbon chain should have the OH in one of the carbons count its carbons and name it as alkane After that, remove the E and add all, O, N. I'll give you an example for this. The first example, let's count the carbons. This is just one carbon. So the name should be methane. Remove the E, add all. So the name becomes methane. Remove the E, add all, methanol. The second one, you have two carbons and the OH should be attached to one of them. So that's two carbons, which is ethane. Remove the E, add all. That's ethanol. But supposing I give you a third example. My third example is slightly different. But I've taken into account three carbons. If you have three carbons in the alcohol, your situation would be like this. I have one, two and three. Out of these three carbons, I take in one case, I take the OH on the first carbon, while in the second case, I am taking the OH in the central carbon. In this case, let me complete it, there are three carbons and an OH group here. Three carbons, so the alkane should be propane. Now what side will you start the numbering? We prefer to number it in a way that the carbon to which the OH group is attached gets the lowest number. Therefore, the way to number it would be that you take this carbon as carbon number 1, 2 and 3. Whereas in this case, if I need to number them up, the carbon having OH should be there in the chain. But the numbering will have to be from one end to get the longest chain. If I number it from here, the OH carbon gets the second number. If I number it from here, the OH carbon again gets the second number, so you can number it from any side. Hence, the nomenclature, this has got three carbons, so propane. Remove the E, add all. And you can mention a one in between to specify what is the position of the OH group. While in this case, also the name is propane and an all. But in this case, since if I don't mention any position, then it's understandable it's the first position. If I mention it, then in this case, the position is 2. The last example is that of butanol. 
I have got four carbons and out of these four I have to substitute one of the hydrogens by an OH group. In the first case I am putting the OH on the extreme right, the first carbon. In this case I am putting the OH here. Let me complete the structure. One bond so three hydrogens more, two bonds so two hydrogens more, two bonds so two hydrogens more, two bonds so two hydrogens more. Similarly here one bond so three hydrogens more, one bond so three hydrogens more, three bonds so one hydrogen more, two bonds so one two hydrogens more. Total number of carbons four. Out of these carbons does one of them have an OH? Yes it does. Hence the name would be butane. Remove the E, you need to add an all and you need to mention the position of the OH group. As you can see, I can number it from this side 1, 2, 3 and 4. My OH gets the second number. But if I number it from this end 1, 2, 3. Now it gets the third number. So in this case, the right way of numbering would only be from the left side. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the name of this compound becomes butan 2 all and there is no other option. While in this case, if I need to number them up, I have got 1, 2, 3 and 4 carbons. Numbering would be from the right because the OH group is located at this end and this carbon should be getting the lowest possible number. So the numbering is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hence the name of the compound is again butane. Remove the E, add all. You may or may not use the number 1 because if you don't it's understandable it is at the first position. That's it. With this we come to the end of the class of introduction of what is an alcohol and how is it named. Thank you.